I'm standing uh, up for my councilman and also celebrating accomplishments with him on this day. There was plenty of support for New Orleans City Council member Jared Brissett following his DWI arrest over the weekend, but his absence Monday was conspicuous and it could continue for a while. Good evening, everyone. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Karen Swenson. The fallout was immediate after Jared Brissett's DWI arrest over the weekend. The District D Councilman apologized today. Mike Pearlstein reports on the reaction and legal ramifications moving forward. Supportive words rolled in for Councilmember Jared Brissett following his DWI arrest early Sunday, then apology Monday, indicating he is checking himself in to a treatment program. I've had conversations with him, and I remain very much uh, supportive of him, and I have expressed that to him. Whatever he needs, if I can help, he has it. Because the accident involved an injury to another driver, Brissett also was booked with reckless operation. Resolving DWIs, even DWI first, that involve an accident are far more difficult for a defendant. In this video provided by a witness, the councilman appears to be slurring his words and slow to react to the seriousness of the accident. We trying, we trying to... I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, we good, we're baby. Trying, good, we're, good, good. We're, trying, we're trying to resolve the issue. I know I'm just... It all unfolded just after midnight when Brissett apparently drove over the neutral ground in the 2400 block of Elysian Fields and hit an oncoming car. Veteran attorney Craig Mordock said the fact that Brissett was caught on video and refused a breath test will complicate legal matters for him. Probable cause for the stop for a DWI and you refuse to blow um, and you refuse to take the breathalyzer test, then your license is basically assured of being suspended for one year. Brissette's first appearance was scheduled here at traffic court this morning. He was not here, but his attorney, Brian Capitelli, said that court date has been postponed until August 10th. Mike Pearlstein, Eyewitness News. I understand that while Brissette was taken to the hospital for observation after the wreck, the person in the car that he hit declined treatment and is thought to be okay. Council members Jay Banks, Kristen Gisselson Palmer, and Cindy Wen released the following statement on the arrest of Council Member Jared Brissett. They said, quote, there is no excuse for driving while impaired. We are relieved that no one was killed or seriously hurt, but Jared must be held accountable for his actions. On the personal side, alcoholism is a disease. It is no different than diabetes or cancer in that no one wants to get it. As our friend and colleague, we're hoping that Jared gets the help that he needs. Brissett has been in elected office for more than a decade. He was elected to the State House of Representatives in 2009 and then to the Council District D seat in 2014. He was reelected in 2017. Before running for office, he served as a legislative aide to City Councilwoman Cynthia Hedge Morell, who held the District D seat for nearly a decade. Brissett ran for clerk of civil district court in 2018 when the position was vacated, but he lost that election. Brissett's arrest came roughly 24 hours after New Orleans bars reopened in a limited fashion as the city re-enters phase two of the economic reopening. A public records database shows Brissett was booked with DWI in 2006 in Miami-Dade County, Florida.